Hello, this is Gary Gardner and Jim Cello with Advanced Poly Packaging doing a demonstration video of a T375 and we're loading these white tags into the machine, uh, 100 per bag. Just gonna just kind of go through a couple cycles to show you what this is gonna look like. Jim is currently holding 100 of these in his hand. Uh, we just have them kind of loosely fit. I know that sometimes the customer will use rubber bands. Um, you know, either way, it looks like it's gonna work pretty well with the machine. So I do have an eight by 10 bag loaded up on here. Um, just a couple standard features, a load shelf, which is just gonna support the weight of the product when it gets dumped in so you can get a, uh, a good seal. And then a bag deflator on there, it's a sponge deflator. Just gonna press air um, out of the machine, or out of the bag, excuse me, before um, it gets sealed so you don't have like a pillow effect. Uh, one thing I wanna point out before he starts loading is, this is a, a Lexan guard that we have over here just to protect the operator from getting their hands in the sealing area. This cutout, can be adjusted, uh, you know, per the specs of, of the uh, of the order or per the the products. We would probably widen this a little bit uh, just to make it easier for the operator to load in here. Maybe just like an inch either way on each side, uh, just to give the operator more uh, space to fit their hand through there. Because this is an eight inch wide bag, so it, it fills up most of the area of the machine. So Jim is just going to kind of load these in by hand and show you what this is going to look like. So he just dumps a hundred of them in there. Uh, they all usually. In, in the testing that we've done fall to the bottom of the bag once in a while you might have a piece come up into the ceiling area and at that point the operator just needs to push it down make sure it's not in the ceiling area and then once the products are in the bag they just hit manual cycle or hit a foot pedal it'll seal it up and then drop so this is uh, you know what a final 8 by 10 bag looks like with 100 parts inside of it so we'll just have them drop one more in just for another demonstration And there you have it. Originally, our thoughts were we might have to increase the pass-through of the machine, uh, but the more that we've tested it, we're actually getting 100 pieces in there pretty easily without having any issues um, with the spacing in between here. And this is, again, what a final product looks like with 100 parts. Um, so I will revise the quote to make sure it's just a, a three-inch pass-through, which is standard instead of four. Um, and as you can see, it actually works very well. So. If you have any qu further questions, you can reach me at GaryG at AdvancedPoly.com. Thank you.